Ahoy hoy fellow bookworms, my name is Caroline and I like to read books, so let's talk about them. Today's video is going to be my December book haul and I have I think like 11 books to show you guys and I'm pretty excited, so let's just jump straight in. To start things off I have three books that I bought for myself while I was in Japan. The first of these is The Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu. This book is a collection of short stories, the most famous one obviously being The Paper Menagerie, which I remember reading like years and years ago and just being completely blown away by. I don't tend to read a lot of short stories but when I do I really enjoy them so I'm looking forward to getting into this one and hopefully discovering some really awesome ones. Next up is The Elephant Vanishes by Haruki Murakami and I've mentioned quite a few times on my channel that he is like my all-time favorite author. There's just something about his writing that really resonates with me and I can't even describe what it is but it's really amazing. This book contains three of his short stories and they just sound like really cute tales of contemporary life with like a little spattering of magical realism in there. I am planning on reading a Murakami book a month in 2017 but I'll be talking more about that in my 2017 resolutions video but anyway pretty keen to read this one soon. The final book that I picked up while I was in Japan is Number Nine Dream by David Mitchell. I haven't ever read anything by him but I watched a video recently which described his writing as very similar to Murakami's and that just made me super keen. I don't really know anything about the story in this book though so if you have read it let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. Next up is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. I pre-ordered this book like ages ago because I read about it and it just sounded like the most amazing and unique story so I was like yeah I'm on board with that and then it arrived while I was in Japan and I got back from holidays and it was here and I'm just so excited to read it. Basically this book takes place in a world where there's no more disease or war so people aren't dying and instead they have reapers or scythes who kind of do the killing randomly instead and we've got two main characters who are apprenticing to be the next person in this line of work or something like that and it's just very dangerous I'm guessing and it just sounds like it's going to be super interesting. I don't know if this is a standalone book or a part of a series but I'm just like super keen to read it and probably gonna get to it in January I think. These next two books are ones that I got for Christmas from my sister and I got 12 Years a Slave and The Rosie Project. Both of these are books that I've been wanting to read for a while and I just haven't really gotten around to but now that I own them I feel like I'll be super motivated to read them. This edition of 12 Years a Slave is absolutely gorgeous and I think I'm really going to enjoy both of these books. So the next two books are ones that I bought at Kmart the other day with a voucher that I apparently got for Christmas last year and had forgotten about because it was nearly expired but I got I Am Malala and Lady Midnight. Again these are both books that I'm really excited to read. I'm probably a little bit more excited to read Lady Midnight just because I really love the Shadowhunter world and I've heard amazing things about it. Next up we have The Sellout by Paul Beatty which recently won the Man Booker Prize and is apparently just a really hilarious satire. I wasn't actually planning on buying this so soon. I was gonna wait for the price to come down a bit but I got a Dimmick's voucher for Christmas and then when I went there to spend it they had a three books for the price of two sale and so here we are. I ended up with this and now that I own it I'm actually really excited to read it because I like satire. I like funny books. I like well-written books. So I think this is going to be a really amazing one. Next up I got Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick which is a collection of like autobiographical essays or something like that. I hadn't actually been that interested in reading this but then I heard a few people like absolutely raving about it and saying it was one of their new favorites that it was really hilarious and interesting and that just got me super excited to read it and I do really love Anna Kendrick so now that I own it I think I'm really going to love it when I read it. The final book I got in December is one that I was already really interested in reading but then recently everyone's been talking about it in like their best books of 2016 videos and it's just made me really excited to read it very very soon and it's A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. There is a movie version of this out at the moment but I haven't really seen any trailers and I don't know anything about the actual plot. I'm just super excited to read it because I've heard so many people say that it made them cry and as weird as it sounds I really like crying in books. I haven't particularly enjoyed any of Patrick Ness's other books but I have been told by a few people that this is his best and I'm super excited to read it and plan on getting to it in January. Those are all the books that I got in December and I'm like super excited to read all of these. I think I'll probably read quite a few of them in January but anyway that's the end of this video. I upload Wednesdays and Saturdays so be sure to like this one and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned on those days for more bookish goodness. Toodaloo!